Hi guys, this is uh, Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video is going to detail uh, how to select specific cases uh, from, a, from a data set uh, within IBM SPSS statistics. But just before we get started, let's just familiarize ourselves with the data set that we're going to rely upon for this particular demonstration. Uh, the, the data set that we're going to rely upon is the employee data set. Uh, and this data set comes uh, pre-packaged with IBM SPSS statistics uh, and can be found in the sample uh, data folder uh, that comes that comes along uh, with the application. Uh, so we're going to concentrate on the employee data set. Okay? Uh, just to give you a quick overview, there's a number of variables. Uh, the first variable is simply an ID associated with each particular respondent. You can see actually just here, this first respondent has ID 378. Uh, the second variable is their gender. Uh, the next variable is their birth date. The next variable is their education level. The next variable is their job category, whether they're clerical, custodials, or managers. Uh, the next variable uh, within this particular data set is the employee's current salary. Uh, the variable that follows that is sal begin, or the salary that this particular employee started on before, or started on when they started this job. Uh, the next variable is job time. How many months uh, have they got in this in their current role within this organization? Uh, previous experience variable uh, tells us how many months of previous experience they've had. Uh, and then the next variable is minority, which is yes or no, uh, whether this individual is, uh, is char uh, characterized uh, as belonging to a minority, a minority race. You can ignore the next two variables. I actually uh, generated them in previous videos. Actually, let me just get rid of them there. Just cut them out of there. I cut that out of here just so that we're not. This now this data set is actually exactly as is when you open it up from the sample uh, data folder. Okay, so what I'd like to be able to do is let me just actually go into the variable view window for a moment. We're in the data view window here. I'm going to go to the variable view window. And I'm just going to look at the job category variable. Here's where all its attributes and parameters are defined. And I'm just going to have a look at values. And you can see that there's three different, well, zero represents missing values. One represents clerical officers. Two represents custodial officers. And three represents managers. Now, what I'd really like to do is, I'd actually just like to do an analysis, yeah, within SPSS, just on managers, yeah. So in other words, I'd like to be able to just select uh, out of this data set, okay? You can see actually that we have, in this data set, we have, if we just go down to the end here, we've got 474 records, yeah? Now, they're not all managers, okay? But there is a fair few managers in this particular in this particular data set, okay? But they're not all managers. There's custodial officers and clerical officers and so on. Uh, a lot more clerical officers than custodials. Uh, and a lot more clerical officers than managers. But I just want to do an analysis on managers alone. So I'd like to be able to, I suppose, select just those cases where the job category is manager. Okay? But this is actually straightforward to do in, in SPSS. And uh, what we do is we go to the data menu. The data menu, just click on the data menu, we get a drop down list. And uh, I'm going to scroll down to select cases. Okay? I'm just going to slow, scroll down to select cases. I'll just reset this here, just in case I've actually, in a previous video, I was messing around in here. So I'll just reset it. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to select cases based off a particular condition, if a condition is satisfied. So I'm going to click on if condition is satisfied. I'm going to hit the if button, okay? And you can see that we get a, 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 a window pops up in relation to uh, select cases if, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the variable uh, employment category, and I'm going to just move it across here. Okay? And what I'd like to happen is I'd like to select cases if job category equals equals three. Because we know that the job category, the numerical value three, is associated with managers. Okay? So that's actually all we need to do. If I wanted custodial officers, I'd change that to two. If I wanted uh, clerical officers, I'd change it to one. If I didn't want clerical officers, but I wanted custodials and I wanted managers, uh, I could do the tilde. Let's just do this here. Where is it? Actually, here's the option here. You can actually just see the option here is, is tilde equals means not equals to one. Okay. So in other words, select all cases if the job category 
is not equal to one. In other words, it would select custodial officers and managers. Actually, what I set off to do initially was to select only managers. So I'm actually going to select job category equals true. Okay, and I'm just going to hit continue. Now, there's a number of other options that we can define. Okay, what do we want to do with these selected cases? So SPSS allows us to do a few different things, okay? Allows us to filter out the unselected cases. That's what I'm going to do in this case, okay? But actually, what we could also do is we could actually copy the selected cases into a new data set, okay? So all I'd have to do is provide a new data set name here, uh, employees, okay, whoops, let's call it employee, employee manager. Let's say manager data manager data okay and what spss would do if i hit okay here it would create a new data set okay that has the name employee manager data and then the final option is okay well what we can actually do is we could delete the unselected cases from this particular file and all we'd be left with is the managers okay so actually maybe that's what i'll do in this particular case is i'm going to delete everything else out of here except for the managers now you need to be very careful when you do this Okay, that you're not going to delete your your original data file. So always make sure you have a backup file. Actually, let me not do that. What am I going to actually do in this case is I'm just going to filter out the unselected cases. In other words, all that should be left is managers. I'm just going to hit OK on that. And what we get is the output window pops up, just telling us the bit of the script in relation to how it's done the filtering. If I go back into the employee data set, okay, and you can actually see that all of these records have a cross through, a line through them, a stroke through them, okay? You see that these records are all clerical officers, okay? Scrolling down. All the ones that have a stroke through them are clerical officers. Uh, and also the custodial officers have strokes through them. And what's left is managers, okay? So the only thing that's left now is the manager's data set, okay? So if I want to do an analysis on all managers, okay? So maybe, let's say, some descriptive statistics, if I go to analyze descriptive statistics, let's just go for descriptives, okay? And let's say I'm looking at current salary. Here's current salary. Okay, what descriptives do I want? Yeah, let's just go for the mean, the standard deviation, the minimum, and the maximum, okay? So let's go, just go for the defaults, hit continue. And actually, what I'll get out now is I'll get the descriptive statistics just for the managers, okay? So the current salary, there was 84 of them. There's 84 managers. The minimum salary was 24,000. The maximum salary was 125,000. The average salary is $63,977. And the standard deviation, the average dispersion on either side of the mean is around $18,000. Okay? Uh, so actually, what we actually see here is that this, I suppose, select cases is another way that we can generate individual pieces of output just for specific types of cases that are defined within our data set. Okay? So guys, uh, once again, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And I hope this video uh, was somewhat helpful.